Crooked man, it's SHVDXLL and the motherfucking flesh from out the depths. We in my city right now, we're in Title Kings, man. Yeah, we rocking with the squad, bro. You know what it is, man. Oh, shit. Little Vita, Little Drone. Shit, alone, you feel me with the chrome. The chrome words alone, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Just like that, man. That's all it's about. All that, man. Say the lingo was up, man. Yeah. Say the lingo was up, yo. Yo, tell the folks at home, man, where y'all coming from? Shout from North Dallas. Shout from North Dallas. And my cousin. Hey, you know, cousin. Nah, I'm from McKinney, man. We're from McKinney, Texas. That's where we at right now. Shit, really. We in my hood, man. This the we at right now. This where we at real life. We gon' have we gon' go ahead and like shoot to y'all. The upcoming, you know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all niggas don't know us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, a lot of y'all niggas that's looking at us. Nah, niggas know us. They just try not to. They overlook us. We in this whole way. Like, and, that's, and that's in the city type shit. I mean, you got you got you got Mo Three, you know, a legend from McKinney, and then he, he claims North Dallas. And how y'all feel about that? Hey, kill folks. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean, man, like, I feel like shit. Each his own. You know what I'm saying? Say, do you? You nah. feel me? If that shit working, like, do you? But like, if it's not, you know what I'm saying? That shit gonna come back and bite you in the ass. Yeah, if you ain't like from there, you trying to like, look, you, know you know what I'm saying? Don't be mad when niggas start to get mad. You know what I'm saying about that shit? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But like, teach his own. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But so, keep it a hundred. Shit. Shit. Y'all coming out the Mac, man. Yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, it's a lot of active artists right now in the game as far as DFW area, man. Yeah. Uh, as far as y'all's movement, y'all got a different type of movement. As far yeah. as the culture of hip hop, obviously it's changing. The market's mm -hmm. definitely changing. Uh, just tell us a little bit about, you know, how you come up with your style, man. You know, uh, so I was born with it. Yeah. I was born okay. out of it. I swear to Energy God. Energy. I was. Yeah, like, look, you know, I, swear God, look, <laughs> I swear to God. Look. I swear to God. In middle school, I was I was the weird one wearing like skinny jeans when that hello when jerking was cool and shit. I was the one wearing like the cool shit. I had an ugly ass. I had a mohawk with cuts in the hell with the scarves scarf. and shit. I was always <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? On the, on the weird the side, I was clean a bitch. I was always clean. I was, I was always like a trendsetter. I always had been. That's just where it came from. Yeah. Shit. And That's yeah, with I the gang though, and with the gang though, a lot of shit, like when we started off, like it was like it was like it was a positive effect that we had on the community. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We threw shows back to school man, shit. Upcoming yeah. artists around here because there's a lot of talent around here. We the only type of people that that, yeah, yeah. that try to show that shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then along the way, that hating came in the belt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Block fights. You know what I'm saying? With our own hood. Yeah, we yeah. Got to the point we can't trust our own hood. We can't yeah, trust yeah. nobody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Shit like that. So it went from block fights to guns. Now we on licks. You know what I'm saying? That's why I like partner. At first, I, I forgot, man. Free the gang, bro. Yeah, free double O. Free forty. Free legend. Yeah. Free Alize, Free Chain, who else? All that shit. I for man, yeah, be brother to my niggas, You can't be the murder case on, on my soul. You feel me? Yeah, man. Free all them, man. Free all them. We don't see nobody locked up, man. You know. Get back to the music, though, man. Like, what's what's what you, what you got out right now? That's right it's got you actively out here moving, man. As far as projects, you pushing a single, you pushing a mixtape. I just dropped. I just dropped the tape. Uh, world domination should do world order. That's like a whole series, really. I just dropped the first of it. Then I got from out the dips 410, April 10th. It's, it's, it's finna drop. That's my birthday and shit. You know what I'm saying? So that hell finna, hell finna rock. You know what I'm saying? People who listen to my style, they know like, they know like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like on the, I don't know, like I'm so versatile, miscellaneous. I gotta do my shit like my style. It's like, I'm always coming with something different. I'm, I'm like, I'm curated from like, I don't know, like I'm too creative. I, I feel like I'm ahead of my time on some shit. My time is to come. It's not, period. Like, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter. Like, as y'all can see, the game adjusts. Like, and it's going like from every couple years or whatever. Like, the game adjusts. And it's like when this when this shit is meant for you, it don't matter what the game adjusts to. You gonna always be fit for. You prevail. You did. So yeah. like that's just us. Like it don't matter. Like, hey, whatever, whatever. Like, it's real. We were the type of person to see like the Dougie, the jerk. Like we were the type of people to do that shit off. And Jen ain't dead. 
<laughs> so when, when y'all born, give y'all give y'all's birthday, y'all's years that y'all were born. I went at the end of the nineties. Yeah, yeah, okay. we were at the end of the nineties. Millennials. Okay. You feel me? So where do y'all feel like you got your style from? Like, I mean, who who do you think you kind of like you built your style off of as far as who influenced you as as far as inspiration and how you got your style? And Wayne, yeah, Wayne, ASAP, ASAP Rocky. That's it, that, that, that was the meaning. Like Wayne was the era. Like, yeah, that yeah. was the era. Like you know what I'm saying. That's when music right, had a meaning. Up. Like that shit. Punchlines nowadays is like back then. Like when you like freestyle on the beat. You know what I'm saying. That was the shit. You know what I'm saying. It was now everybody freestyling just putting some shit out there. Yeah. Now yeah. it's not no really creativity behind it. Like, you know what I'm saying. We just talking about that shit. Jay Z, Beyonce. Y'all seen that news? What that shit? Uh. uh I just the top of the main back. Like, yeah, come on, man. Like, and they went hard, that shit. It went hard now, but like, it's just like. But what about it behind? Yeah, you can question the delivery if it wasn't if it wasn't future. You know, yeah, if yeah. it was someone else, it would have had the Don't same type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. If it was Quavo on the hook, goddamn, that was it. But, like, but speaking, you know, you know, you're speaking of creativity. I mean, getting back from South by Southwest, you know, in March, we we in March 2018. We just got back from South by Southwest. I know we bumped into you out there. You was working with Sherwood, uh, Marty. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about that, man. Your relationship. Yeah, we're shit. Like it was just all love, you know what I'm saying? It was straight niggas was fucking with each other down there, you know what I'm saying? It was just that's like one of my best music experiences, I'll say. That shit was lit. That shit was lit in a bitch. I was should have came, bro. We out there oh, pushing God. music, we out pushing in particular uh, promotion as far as when y'all out there on South by Southwest. Did y'all have a single y'all were pushing? Uh honestly nah bro. We came out there and just started networking, bro. What I got like, this, I wouldn't even come. He wasn't even trying to like, you know what I'm saying? Even, like, I wouldn't come to like listen to my song. Build relationships, you know what I'm saying? Just go out there and just chop it up with people. Oh, yeah, I chopped up with Sean Cotton. I spit like a little freestyle for him. I ain't even want to do it, though. I ain't want to do it. I'm like, bro, just check out my Instagram or some shit. Yeah. Like, so you don't want to spit eight bars? You don't want to do eight bars? I'm like, So uh, as far as like, you know, artists out here in the D, who do you feel like is the top five, you know, your personal top five is who's doing it right now, Dallas? That's one that's going to take off. I mean, we're going to do Dallas, we're going to do DFW. Yeah, DFW. DFW? Yeah, I'm going to say Dallas. Yeah, I'm going to Okay, as far as like creativity. And let's not be biased. Let's not be biased and modesty to yourself. Let's, let's, let's talk about other than you. you know, obviously, you got your movement, but let's talk about the people that typically, yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. other than us. Other than you all, yeah. Uh, we can't put gang in. Can't put gang in. Right, uh, I'ma put it, okay, it's the first top spot. I'ma put either CJ Casino or Go Yeah Yo. You, and you gotta put Gree on there, hold up. I mean, you can put Gree on there, but like, but from what he doing, like, it's just opinionated. I could be wrong. Hey, you know, give me, give me dead, give me dead. But it's getting repetitive. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? It's getting repetitive, like with Mo 3. What I realized from Go Yayo, yeah, it don't matter what time go by, Go Yayo, yeah, Lucy J. Casino, they ain't stopping. They coming hard as they did when they came in the game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With 3, it's slowing down. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot, it's a lot of like, like all that, the, but the, uh, that shit was popping when it started. You know what I'm saying? But now niggas looking for something else, and it's not. That's you know what, what I'm saying? I feel like see, that's kind of what's keeping him where he, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, keeping I mean, him, but like, that, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Flow, I, I mean, the, hey, I, that singing shit go hard as hard go hard. than bitch. My yeah. bitch be singing that shit. You feel me? <laughs> My bitch love that shit. I'm, I'm yeah, that you shit. know what I'm saying? Uh, I say, yeah, I say, uh, CJ Casino, uh, yeah, yo, three, shit, uh, who else? Uh, Trap, uh, Trap Boy, Boy Freddy. Freddy. Trap Boy Freddy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, who that nigga that, uh, 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 too, Yellow right. Beezy, Yellow Breezy, what his name? That nigga go it's hard. It's like the obvious top five in DFW. That's like obvious. Yeah, like, what, Trap Mama? 
Tell her I'm gonna go hard. I'll be telling her all the time she go hard. She's gonna be able to do music. I don't think she can take it. Any artists that you guys want to do features with? Like the way we flow side by side, and the way they flow side by side, and the way we come up with shit that ain't never been heard before. You know what I mean? Come up with shit that ain't never been heard before. This shit gonna rock. Like, I don't even know how to explain. I ain't even came up with a word for it. Like how they, like how they, you know what I'm saying? That shit like I ain't, I ain't got a word. For it. But it's like the same shit that we kind of do on some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Work. But for me, who I do a feature with, I do a feature with six nine. I do a feature with six nine. I, I would for like for like for I like the right now that. type shit or like the, his energy. Just I mean, obviously, you know, there's a lot of controversy behind 6 9 at this moment, yeah, yeah. Uh, just what he got going in the industry right now. But you can say that he is definitely uh, making an impact in the industry. He does. He has uh, all three of his songs he's put out, top billboard charts. What's that shit he got uh, people like, not like the way he do it, but you know yeah. what I'm saying? Nigga, Would y'all check it. in if y'all was in this situation? Shit, like, as far as what? I wouldn't check, check in, in, but like, like you said, relationships is different than like. I mean, the way I feel like the way he do it, I think I do it. Like, he pulled up to every city, you know what I'm saying? It's how you do it. It's, how you, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. So you can agree that he's being disrespectful in a way. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't say disrespectful. I would say, like, nowadays in the game as a rapper, day, like, if you not up front and silent and still, then, you know what I'm saying? Like, you wrong. Yeah, you out. You hear me? You out of there. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, like, he, he coming out still. Like that's the right image for it, yeah. but like no, nah, he I coming get, out still, but he like it's like a little feminine. Though. It's feminine. Like, he got like a little feminine. Like, you ain't like, feminine, feminine in the game. Everybody got some feminine in them. But like, like I'm just yeah, saying, man. like. I don't know, I guess. The way I mean, with the controversy himself, about, you know, him being a blood and everything else that comes along with him having the a... The guy ain't talking about he was a crip type But, you know, besides that, he has an open he has an open uh, case for, you know, molestation of a, of a kid, you know, of a child. So, let's, you know, you have to think about that as well if you didn't know, you know. So, I think, I think he talked about that on the, uh, on the Breakfast Club shit. I forgot. Hey, it wasn't like molesting a kid. It's not like... I don't know nothing about this nigga. It was statutory rape. <laughs> right? Basically, he was, he was messing with a minor. Uh, he, so know, yeah, it's charged with it in the state of New York. Like, shit. I yeah, guess does that change your Does that change your demeanor if but you're not knowing that? Yeah, yeah, that changes the meaning about anybody. Like if you told me you see it, I'm molesting somebody. <laughs> I don't know. Wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like that's with anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, ah, his music go hard. Shit, fuck your background, goddamn. You, you, you could have been raised by two daddies. You know what I'm saying? Fuck your background. Like, don't nobody really care about that shit. You know what I'm saying? As long as your music popping. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's exhausted. You know what I'm saying? Drake, he's been sentimental. You know what I'm saying? But his music stayed on the radio. People been hating on that nigga since he started. Yeah, yeah. But he's the biggest. You know what I'm saying? Coming out the game. Yeah, but I, I want to touch on that blood and grip situation. Like, for yo, everybody do that shit. Niggas be thinking they bloods, but they ain't really got no OG. They ain't really got like you know what I'm saying. Nobody here. Put them on. Just yeah, like, like put them on. Niggas just like like when Nick, when Wayne came out, everybody was blood. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was blood. You know what I'm saying? Everybody had their flag right. But niggas really wasn't under like no type of you know what I'm saying set or none of that shit. Niggas just saying they blood. Yeah. You feel me? Like niggas just probably saying he was crip because it was cool. Niggas just yeah. thought it was cool. He wasn't under nothing. You know what I'm saying? So like shit. And then, he wasn't yeah, just like, like you know what I'm saying? But growing up, been around bloods and real real like real live bloods. Like you know what I'm saying? Real live yeah. crips. It's like you know what I'm saying? Like. It, it let me know, like, be yourself, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if anything, be yourself, you, around, you know what I'm saying? saying? I was in jail, you know what I'm saying? Finna catch a case, you know what I'm saying, 10 years. But what I told everybody that asked me, what you ripping, what you, what you, I said, I'm crook, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because I know what my, my, Google me, you know what I'm saying? Google us, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. it's gonna pop up and it's gonna let you know. What's crook? Go into the definition of that. What is crook for the people oh, that don't know? Go ahead and say, he said, I said it wrong. <laughs> Kings uh, rise over <laughs> oppressive knocks. Uh, Overcome my struggle, bitches. 
Yeah. We overcoming all, all that hate, all that shit everybody put on us to the point we had. So this is the name of y'all's game? Yeah, so yeah. really, it's like... Y'all don't bang red or blue? No, here's not. Here's not. Fuck all that shit. I'm colorblind. I'm just fucking with that shit. So, you know, jumping back into the music, uh, with y'all going ahead and being from McKinney, you know, and, and y'all basically holding it down for the, you know, the, the young uh, culture right now and the movement that y'all have with the high energetic music. And it's, it's like a, it's more of a swag type music. Y'all have a different type of vibe, uh, you know, that we haven't really seen in this part of Dallas in the Texas period. You know what I'm saying? That, really nowhere. So, we you know, Mo3 being exactly from here as well, have y'all reached out to him to try to possibly work with him or get a feature with him or... When we Any started out, his brother, Black maybe? Jack, Black Jack, my partner in jail. Oh, yeah, Black Jack. My, he, Black he, Mo three was when he was up and coming. Uh, I think it was what say my name. That shit was popping. Yep, Hold your tongue was popping. Yep. Uh, he was coming back and forth from down here. And Black Jack, being at the back of this up and coming, twenty thirteen was going heavy. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. He was in and out the studio yeah, heavy. Shit, yep. So with Mo three and Black Jack, Black Jack always fuck with Mo three. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It was like, Mo3 was letting them know I see myself in you. You know what I'm saying? So that's where that started. But like... He had a song with him? Yeah, he got a song with him. Are y'all with Max City Music? Max City Music Group? Y'all familiar with them? Yeah, I'm yeah. familiar with them. Like, we, uh, I think they shot the first video. They shot our first video. Well, Blackjack first Black video. Jack what was it? Uh, damn, with that. Heaven, heaven, heaven and Hell shot his first video. That whole environment. Shot his first video and shit. But other than that, yeah. Three and, uh, three and Jack, they had a song together. It was called, what, Shooters? Shooter, 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 yeah, 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 shooter. Yeah. That shooter, I don't know. I don't know what happened to it. I guess, I guess three. The I mean, Black Jack, Mo, I, damn, I'm gonna throw that nigga in the bush. I don't give a damn. All right, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Mo three said, Mo three, he had just put that freestyle out. The same freestyle he put out, he had put that same verse on Shotters. The song he dropped was like that. Which song was Shotters? Uh, nah, it was a freestyle. It's a freestyle. I don't give a damn about it. So he like, used the same verse twice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, nah, he didn't use the same verse twice, but that's why Jay didn't. Jay didn't give a, like, Black Jack didn't give a damn because yeah. of the fact that he's not finna lean on another nigga to get him yeah. boosted. You and know the interaction was just cool, man. Yeah, I but that interaction was cool. Like, ain't yeah, exactly. no, no telling what they finna do. But most of the that they talking about, boom, I just drop that song. Don't drop that song, you know what I'm saying? Just take my verse off it and put you another verse on there because that verse I used was in a freestyle. You know? Right on, right on. So as far as upcoming projects, what are y'all pushing right now? You got a single uh, that you're pushing right now, social media wise, or uh, uh, that, that piff? You about to drop a tape? No, I already dropped the tape. Okay. Shit. Uh, when did you drop that? Uh, man, like March, I say. Yeah, I just dropped it. Yeah, let the people know. Really, shit. They got like a thousand, thirteen hundred streams on Spirilla, and like five hundred hits on mixed on my mixtapes. That's like my first tape. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really thinking. Tap in like that because I ain't been dropping music at all. But when I dropped this, whole, so like people start linking in, doing all that. I was like, shit, cool. That's what's up. That's good. But yeah, from out the depths, 410. Y'all been waiting for that motherfucker. I swear to God, I'm gonna put my all into it. <laughs> and then uh, my me and him, we got a uh, we got a tape coming out. We, like, we got a whole bunch of songs. Like we you got a tape, bro. We've we been doing this tape. shit for six years. We just looked at this six years, six bro. Years. How old was you six years ago? You hear me? Like, we've been doing this shit for six years. Like, mm -hmm. going hard. Like, I Go swear to God. Like, so, like, we got so many songs, like, and it's to the point where, I, like, I told y'all before, like, it don't matter, like, where the game go, like, where the, the change. Like, when you've been doing this shit for so long, it don't matter. We can drop a song three, four, passion. five years ago. You don't even know, like, it was dropped. We made it four, five years ago. For all, I'm, for all my musicians out there, don't you feel weird if you ain't recorded a song in a long time? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's just how I feel with me. Like I feel, I feel kind of like I don't know, like what the fuck am I doing with my life? I ain't recording something. Well, I ain't out. You know what I'm saying? Like what? Writing some or doing some. You know what I'm saying? Dedicated to my craft. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I be feeling like shit. It's, it's it's a must now. It's like it's, it's a must. It gotta it gotta go that way. That's what I'm saying. Like shit, we got like we got me and him. We got so many songs to perform. But like, we y'all recording y'all music good? Uh, we don't want to say because we don't want niggas taking advantage of the leak. Like he said, I want Kyle Lee. I want Kyle Lee because he buddy. watched this house. He gonna be like, damn, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want to tell him to get leaked. You got a good well, business relationship with someone. Business relationship. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Nigga that fuck with black youngster. Nigga that fuck with uh, a lot of niggas like Yo Gotti. All of them. I don't know how he said that. Absolutely. Thing. He done spoke over it though. It's all right. It's all right. Hey. So we live in effect, man. Shadell. <laughs> 
you know, it's always nice working with y'all, man. Y'all holla at y'all yeah. game, man. Let the people know where they can find you at social media and all that. Oh, yeah. Should, my, should, you can find me, Shabella, everything. Everything. S-H-B-D-X-2-L's. Everything. Everything is there. You know what I'm saying? You don't see me. L.A. John, La Vida, with the Nina. Rack the pack like a Gordita. You know. <laughs> you can find me at La Drone, La Vida. You know what I'm saying? La Drone, Vida. La Drone, underscore La Vida. Anything. Already, it's all love. Shadell the drone man, live from the Mac. We out. Tidykings.com. Follow us yeah. moving. Yeah. Yeah. Watch out for that mixed up.